Support for Triad Arts Up Close comes from the George Link Jr. Charitable Trust. One woman's desire to reinvent her life has led to a musical invention involving many people. Welcome to Triad Arts Up Close. I'm Bradley George. The Mojo Affair is a new band based in Winston-Salem. They're having their first ever show this weekend at Ziggy's. The band is the creation of Kenya Tillery. She's a native of Winston-Salem and a graduate of the North Carolina School of the Arts. After NCSA, Kenya headed to Los Angeles, where she had a successful career composing music for film and television. But a breast cancer diagnosis led her back home and paved the way for this new musical endeavor. Today, Kenya Tillery shares her story, and she's joined by two others from her eight-piece band, Michael Thomas and Michelle Scales. I would start on the professional note, and I'll say that uh, for, let's see, since 1998, I was a uh, film composer. I graduated from School of the Arts and then moved out to L.A. and started a fellowship and pursued that career and um, had some goals with that. My goal was to uh, get my music played on television, which um, is happening now with Lifetime Television. So I decided um, at this point maybe I should go into a different chapter. And then personally I had some um, issues that I had to deal with to come back home. And that would be, um, I had to be a breast cancer survivor, and that took some some years uh, to deal with. I, I went through the phase of being a film composer, and then I came back home, and I um, had some quiet spiritual time. And then I decided around September of 2006 that it was time for me to recreate myself and start again and uh, learn from all of my experiences, even through the low points. And I decided I'm going to start a new band, and I'm going to call it the Mojo Fair. And then I gathered all my friends that had kind of the same vision as as I did with taking music a different direction. And uh, and now we have an eight-piece band. So this this different direction that you allude to, what is that exactly? Well, um, the direction is that I feel that music, a lot of popular music has now, is different than uh, what it was before decades ago, which is uh, many of the groups that I listened to growing up with um, the ballads of the stylistics and um, the content, the lyrical content was either important or it was it was classy or it was um, lyrical content that you could use, uh, made, made some type of impact or, or just no impact, but it, it certainly didn't have as much of a negative impact as a lot of the lyrical content um, has uh, these days. I decided that uh, the best thing would be if I wanted to uh, change that, I could either talk about it on these forums or I could be part of the solution, which is create a project, uh, a product that would serve as an example of where I think music should go. And and that's how Mantra, our debut album, came about. Michael and Michelle, how did you become involved with, with Kenya and, and her idea? One of the musicians that was working with Kenya um, initially, uh, when she was putting it, introduced me to Kenya. Michelle and I have been working together for the past 20 years. But uh, when it was presented to me to work with Kenya, and when we met her Instantly, we fell in love with her as well as the project because one of the important things for us, Michelle and I, the Mojos, is that the lyrical content as well as the musical aspect of everything, something to what Kenya alluded to earlier, with today's technology, you can whip out just about anything in a matter of minutes. (laughs) It was very important for Kenya to get in, dig down deep, and pull out the true essence of the song which that was a that was a big big plus that was a big big draw for me because I love digging down and getting to the root to the essence of what music is supposed to be and the lyrical content was another one when uh the guitar player that introduced me to Kenya I introduced I immediately went to Michelle I said Michelle you will not believe what I am now a part of and how I met this wonderful woman and I want you to meet her too and as soon as we came in we met Kenya and Michelle and Malayan from day 
one. I said, wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's just it's a, like a breath of fresh air. It really is from the negative energy that's happening out there with the music now. It's, it's really just a privilege to be a part of something that's positive and getting to the true meaning and getting back to lyrics that have a meaning and lyrics that really mean something. What what Michael was talking about earlier about really getting deep down into the essence of the song and, and bringing that out uh, on this album do you, is there is there one example that you can point to that's that's really uh, 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 indicative of of that idea? Which one would you say? I say I say life. Mm-hmm. Life is it's about it's like a mixture of everything that you deal with in life, and she put it into song, and it's wonderful. And it's you know it's. It started, that song started uh, because of a couple of friends that I had that were reacting to their experiences a certain way. And instead of um, putting those experiences in context, uh, they tended to take those things out on the people around them. For example, when I was living in L.A., I would, uh, I would ride with my friend a lot who had a temper and she had like this road rage issue. And, uh, you know, I'd sit in the car and I'd just watch her and she would be saying all kinds of, you know, curse words and calling this person that. And I'd I'd watch her and I'd say to myself, doesn't she see that there's like a million cars in the same traffic stuck? It's not just you, you know. (laughs) You know, uh, some people are late to work sometimes. Some people are stuck in traffic. Some people have raw deals, and, 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 you know, some people might not have them right now. But at some point in your life, you will experience something. And and so I think, you know, at some point you have to say, hey, this is it is what it is. We're all out here doing this life thing. You know, we're going to get through it together. We shouldn't take it out on each other and just, you know. Relax a little bit, you know, so that's what the song is about. Oh, this is great. She's stuck in traffic again. She is ten minutes late. What will she do? Maybe she'll scream at you, curse at you. So where do you hope to go from here? We want to travel, travel, travel. We want to be in the UK. We want to be in Japan. We want to um, continue to tour here in in our home state, of course. If we can just have the opportunity to get our message out and um, get people on the same page uh, with our movement uh, that we're trying to to spark, uh, I think we'll have a lot of following. Kenya Tillery, Michelle Scales, and Michael Thomas. They're all part of the band The Mojo Affair. Their debut CD, Mantra, will be out in mid-June, but you can catch a sneak preview at the band's first-ever live show this Saturday night at 9 o'clock at Ziggy's on Beatty Street in Winston-Salem. There's more information and tickets for that show at ziggyrock.com, and you can find more information on the band at themojoaffair.com. That's Triad Arts Up Close for today. I'm Bradley George. Thanks for listening. Support for Triad Arts Up Close comes from the George Link Jr. Charitable Trust.